Okay, one of the question was why does this double shield goes away and turns into n when you pronounce padanne. Okay? So uh, uh, these letters on its own it's pronounced as pad. So here actually it's more of a pad. It's more of a t sound actually. Okay? Pad at ne. Okay? But when you're pronouncing them together, what happens is this consonant gets uh, assimilated into right here this vowel. This is more of a this is a vowel simply because this consonant doesn't have any sound, so it's ah, right? It's ah. So this consonant gets assimilated into here, so it becomes pa ta. Pa ta. And then what happens here is that when you have two consonants right next to each other, my tongue has to try to pronounce them and it's difficult. So, you know, just imagine ima imagine if I were to pronounce pat at ne, okay? Pat at ne. It's just, it's, just, it's a bit harsh to pronounce pat at ne compared to padan ne. Okay? Padan ne sounds uh, so much better. It's just a lot more softer to pronounce it that way. So, here, uh, this uh, sang shield and niu, uh, what happens is this niu becomes a dominant and it gets rid of the sound and the pronunciation then becomes pa tan ne. So whenever you see two consonants that are next to each other and your tongue has to pronounce them together, the sound either changes or one becomes more dominant and the other becomes silent. Okay? Um, let me see. So uh, this happens also in English as well. So if you think of cupboard, cupboard, okay? Now on its own, this is cup and this is board. But when you're pronouncing it together, you pronounce it cupboard, cupboard. So this P sound goes away. Here, handbag, handbag, okay? Here too, this D sound. When you see when you have this D and B, two consonants right next to each other, this sound goes away and just becomes handbag, handbag. And here, good morning, okay? This D goes away and it actually sounds more closer to good morning because this N sound is easier to have the next sound M up. It's much easier to have the M pronounced. So it's good morning, good morning, as opposed to good morning, right? And so now you have these two consonants right next to each other, and of course uh, the sound just goes away, right? It just, no. Sorry for my bad handwriting. Okay, so this happens quite a bit in Korean. I mean, of, of course happens in other languages as well. And this is called consonant assimilation. So this is a very common one that you see quite often. 감사합니다. Or, um, so here, anytime you see H, I'm sorry, uh, B and N together. So on its own, it's pronounced as hap, ni, ta. But when it's pronounced together, it becomes hamnida. So it becomes hamnida. That's how you pronounce it. Okay, you spell it this way, but you pronounce it hamnida. Here's another example. Mot he. Okay, on its own, it's mot he. But when you're pronouncing it together, this plus this becomes this. So it becomes mot te. Mot te. Mot te. And uh, here's another word. Chuk ka. Okay, so here, this consonant g plus h becomes k sound as well. So chuka, chuka. So that's why you see a lot of um, sorry, that's you, you see you see a lot of the tweets when they shorten this chuka, they go chuka instead of chukha because it's pronounced with K sound. Chukka. 
Chuka. It's pronounced as Chuka. Chuka.